Hello, today we're going to cover opening the box for TE460-137 video generator. This is how it would come to you. It's packaged in a cardboard box. There's a label here and the label says that there is a lithium-ion battery inside and there's a packing slip that's attached right here and the tape. You can see this is Altinex tape so you know it comes directly from Altinex. I'm going to go ahead and open it. Once opened, you see you will have a bubble wrap here and I'm going to pull out the actual box with the product. On the box with the product, on the back you have a barcode label. If you need to barcode, scan it in. You have a serial number, Rojas compliance label, and it's also made in USA label and the name of the uh, product. On the top you have a label and that particular label shows you the model number, shows you the capabilities and we also include here battery type and in this case it gives you battery part number if you ever the battery runs out or uh, is failed you can buy the battery directly from the internet you also talk about USB cable tells you what type of USB cable you need and also what type of the HDMI cable and finally it tells you about power supply, so if you ever need to replace power supply, there's a power supply specification. Also, we have a support phone number on the bottom and our website. So let's go ahead and open the box and see what's inside. It's, it's in a nice sturdy uh, airtight enclosure and you can see there's a pressure relief here valve if you need to travel with it. Uh, on the side you also have a little label, so if you want to put your name you can pull pull a, a, a label from here using Xacto knife, you can open it up, put your name here and close it back up so you'll have a reference here. So let's go ahead and uh, open the box now. And uh, here's what you're going to see inside. Inside you're going to see a power supply. It has a USB connector on one end, regular USB A connector and plug in US power. You also have a, a battery. Let's go ahead and open it and see what's inside here. And there's your battery, uh, manufactured by Panasonic, lithium ion battery. Um, the actual generator, and this should be fully ready to go. It doesn't matter where the switch is because the battery is not inserted yet. Okay. Uh, you will also find a USB cable, and that's basically a test cable. If you ever need to test a generator, you can plug this cable to the input and output and run the test, and it will tell you that everything is okay. And you also have uh, the USB charging cable. So USB charging cable plugs right here into USB port, and then you can plug it into the USB connector on the power supply and you can charge it. You can also use this generator while you're charging the generator. So the first thing we will do, we'll go ahead and insert the power battery. The power battery is uh, half charged and the reason is because for lithium ions to, to, to be able to hold the charge for a long time and for safety purposes not fully charged. So once you plug it in first time, uh, we would recommend at least an hour to two hours charging time before usage. But even if you don't charge it, it will, use, it will work for about a uh, couple of hours. So the way that I open it, it's very simple. So let's go ahead and um, come back here and close it. So I just took the power supply right here. And you see that little slot on the side? And I just pushed it in and it's opened the back side. Okay. Right here you have a little plate. And a, and a tab and make sure to look at the plus and minus right here it shows a plus and minus battery okay so you gotta position it the right way so the minus if you look at the dark the dark side right here that's a plus and that's a minus so align it with this and what you need to do you need to push it down and put the battery here like this and then push it back in and the reason is so if you later need to pull it out you can pull it out later so again 
Don't put it like this because you won't be able to take it out. There's nothing that pulls it back up. So this tab goes on the back. Then you put the battery in and then push it in. And then the tab will fold inside to cover the battery. So that should be a full installation. And then you will cover it with this. And then the generator is ready to go from this. So you will plug it here. Plug it into the charger. Plug the charger into the AC outlet and start charging it. While you're charging it, you can still use it. Once you power it up, you can see it powers up very nicely. So let's go back again. Power it up and there's Altinex name. It powers up and it's ready to go. Okay. It says battery low, so it needs to be recharged. So that's that's the sign for you to go ahead and recharge it. All right, so this is what we end up when we open the unit. That's what ended up inside a generator, the HDMI cable, the power supply, the USB charging cable, and the battery. And that's it.